Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to iTouch App Reviewers. Now, for those of you that are big into jailbreaking, I've got some news for you that you're gonna wanna hear. Now, I think a lot of you guys are gonna be interested just in the premise of this video, uh, even if you don't jailbreak, because I personally don't jailbreak my main devices anymore. Uh, I use secondary devices for that. Nonetheless, this is an interesting exploit uh, that Ian Beer was actually able to release to the public as of today. So Ian Beer is a security researcher for Google, and he does a lot with iOS as well. Uh, but he publicized TFP0, uh, which is an exploit for iOS 11.1.2. And uh, if we scroll down here, we can see his uh, links here and some of his tweets. Before we get too deep into this, this is not a jailbreak. I want to make that completely clear to all of you guys that think that there's an iOS 11 jailbreak. There's not, okay? So anyone on the internet that's claiming they have one is a liar. There is no public iOS 11 jailbreak yet, okay? So don't believe anyone. If they're trying to get you to download stuff, don't do it. It's a scam. However, this is an exploit that can be used to turn into a jailbreak by the right developers. So Pangu or one of the other jailbreak teams could take this exploit and turn it into a jailbreak and possibly release it to the public. Do I think that's gonna happen? Probably not. Uh, they've been into just selling these exploits and jailbreaks um, to people and governments uh, back and forth. So that's how they're making their money. If they release a jailbreak, what do they get out of it? They don't get any money. They're about their money. So uh, anyways, we could see a jailbreak from this, but let me move on a little bit about this. So there's not much known about the exploit except for the fact that it granted seemingly endless possibilities. And uh, he released it to the public uh, today. And here are his tweets, like I said. Now this exploit should work on all devices running iOS 11 through 11.1.2, uh, perhaps even the iPhone 10, 8, and 8 Plus. Uh, he has tested it on the 7, 6S, and iPod Touch 6G, but he says the other ones should be easy. Now, to be clear and upfront, as it says right here, it's not a jailbreak. I already told you guys that. It's just a security exploit, and I believe it's a kernel exploit. So it is a big one that jailbreak developers could use, uh, but nonetheless, uh, let's continue here. Now, Apple still actually signs iOS 11.1.2 as of right now. So what does that mean for you? If you want to jailbreak right now, well, first of all, if you're already jailbroken on iOS 9 or 10, stay there and enjoy that. That's my personal opinion. That's what I do on my old iPhone. Now, if you're on iOS 11.2, you could downgrade to iOS 11.1.2 because it's still being signed by Apple. Probably only got a couple weeks left on that, if that. So you kind of got to make your decision soon. We don't really know when they're going to stop signing it. If you're on iOS 11.0, or one of the lower ones, I guess you could upgrade to iOS 11.1.2 right now and just kind of sit there and wait. If you want to step up to iOS 11.2, just know that this exploit does not work for it. However, there could be a jailbreak in the future, but the way that the jailbreak community has been going, I don't know that I'd count on it. Uh, this is pretty much the closest thing we've got for a jailbreak for iOS 11. So those are just kind of my thoughts on it. Uh, again, if you really definitely want a chance at jailbreaking and you're already on iOS 11, uh, you should get on 11.1.2 as soon as possible. If you don't really care, obviously just get on iOS 11.2. And if you're already jailbroken, you should probably just stay there for now because there's no guarantee that this is going to become an iOS 11 jailbreak. So we will have to see what happens here, but I'm gonna keep you guys in the loop with this. This is actually pretty exciting for those of us that are into jailbreaking. Uh, I know I did videos a long time ago. One of my top videos is on, uh, I think, Barrel or the top five Cydia apps or something. Uh, I know a lot of you guys are still into this, so that's why I'm keeping you up to date. Again, all Apple news and rumors. I'm gonna deliver to you guys. So that's all I got for this video, guys. Again, if you liked it, hit it with a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.